Hello everybody and welcome to yet another video here on the Ant Hall for Extra channel. We are in the middle of updating on all of our ants as you may have seen over the past few days and today we are once more doing this yet again. If you couldn't tell, we're having a major spin around in the ant room at the moment, but let's just stop for a second. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> okay, it's... okay. Okay, man. let's see if I can pick a call now because everything is turning around just slightly. But yeah, today we are looking at the no-name colony. What? Well, what's the no-name colony, Holifer? It is none other than Campanotus Singularis. Do -do -do. Here we are. And would you look at those larvae, man? One fat larvae, two fat larvae, three fat larvae, a fourth small pile of eggs. There was another pile of eggs, right? Didn't I just see two piles of eggs? Either way, this here is the Campanotus Singularis colony. Uh, this is a colony from Ants HQ, and I believe when I got them, they didn't have any uh, eggs, if I'm not wrong. I believe they haven't. I, I think the queen laid these eggs like when I got her, what a, what, a month ago? Something like that. And we can see here she's laid a new pile of eggs here, and there was some more eggs over here. So plenty of eggs on the way, and we also have a few of the first larvae starting to come through. Now, as you can see, we also have a beautiful manger right here. And uh, this here is the Wakushi Small Gypsum with the Wakushi S1 Outworld. And I mean, there's something about this. I, I, I love this. I love, I love these modular things when you can just pick everything up. Like it's, it's, not, it's not one nest, it's two things put together, but yeah, it just works. For those who didn't know, I started off by having them in one of these in the founding gen force. But the thing is, these single layers are so tall that they could just walk out. So it wasn't too fun when they just started walking out because they're so big. But look at these, man. They're just beautiful ants. And would you look at that? Would you look at that beautiful pile of eggs? That is, that's nice. That's very nice. I love how big these workers are, man. Um, and right now, I mean, to be honest, I think it's because I'm keeping all of these bull ants and bullet ants. But in my head, when I'm looking at this, this is actually going quite quickly. <laughs> but it's because I'm keeping so few ants that are actually growing faster. Singular somehow are becoming fast at the moment. You can also see they're actually very relaxed ants overall, um, which is quite surprisingly because for a long time these ants have been very crazy every time I touch them. But look how relaxed they are. Very relaxed ants. Um, they are quite a boring colony, as you can see. There's no workers in the outworld. And when I feed them, only like one worker actually comes out and goes in again. Now, it's very common for Singularis to be dug up in nature and sold here in Europe. I can't say for sure if that's what's happened here because I don't know when they are getting majors. Um, but sometimes you can see online colonies being sold with like one queen, two workers and a major. And for those who didn't know, that's quite a clear sign that they've been dug up. Now this major here, I don't know if this is too soon for a colony to have a major. If it's been a, if it's a colony that's been dug up, to be honest, it's not really something I care too much about. But it's something that people don't necessarily know because they're like, oh my god, I got a new colony with a major and I only have like four workers. Well, that's just a sign that uh, it's a dug up colony. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Just, Just so you know. Um, but what do you think, guys? Do you think this colony would naturally have a major at this stage, or do you think it's too soon? Curious to your thoughts about that in the comments, but either way, this here is the Singularis colony, and I'm just so happy that I, they came without brood and they have laid eggs. Well, they've laid a lot of eggs because, well, they have larvae and stuff like that. So, really interestingly, when I added all of the substrate in the old nest, they had the, in the founding nest, they put all of the substrate out in the outworld, so that's why I haven't added some new into the nest because they just removed all of it in the other setup. But yeah, that's been a little short update on the Campanotus Singularis. But before we stop the video, I would like all of you to go down in the comments and uh, bow to MML Sharp. Because yet again, my man here has been going crazy. So let me go to all of you down in the comments and bow. Um, I'll, I'll be down there as well bowing. So uh, yeah, thank you, one again, Skin. Uh, we, have, we have a channel sponsor clearly at this stage, but thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I'm really happy that, I mean, so many of my colonies at the moment are just doing fantastic and it's just so amazing. The question is, is it because of the VIF? Is it because I'm more experienced and less dumb at the moment? Well, who knows? They certainly are doing well. I've not had a colony die for what seems like forever at this stage, which is just really nice. I completely forgot to mention that both Ants HQ and Wakushi links and discount codes will be shown down in the description. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Go down and bow in the comments to MML Sharp, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.